Hello there, it's your boy Shaman Trees, hoping y'all are doing great wherever you are in the vast universe, tumbling through dark matter, space and time, I mean this shit is fucking awesome, right? Except when you gotta pay bills and all that shit, then you know, you lose sight of all that, but anyways, life is fucking awesome, I hope you're doing great, and uh, if you probably noticing by now I am actually in my car and I'm making this video because there's like so much shit going on in my house so much energy and like loud noises and all that shit that I'm just really sensitive to that and it just throws me off when I'm trying to do what I'm doing because I feel everything which kind of brings me to the the topic of this video and this topic has been running through my mind for some years now, especially the more and more I dive into spirituality and metaphysics and things of that nature. And the, the issue is um, being a sensitive person. So the topic of the video is why you should be a sensitive person. Okay, so... In our modern culture, we have a real stigma. We look down against sensitive people, whether consciously or subconsciously. And you hear it all the time, you know. People are like, yo, why are you being so sensitive? Or, you shouldn't be so sensitive, you know. But I'm here to tell you that the more sensitive you are, the more powerful you are. Or are able to be and the reason why this is true all right because remember we're living backwards here all right if the majority of people are telling you one thing usually the opposite is true okay now the thing with sensitivity there's power and sensitivity because the more you can feel things the more aware you are, okay? And the only way that you can be sensitive and, and refine your, your sensitivity is by refining your nerve endings so you can feel everything. So this even comes down to ESP. When you break down the word ESP, ESP breaks down to extra sensory perception, which deals with psychic abilities, intuition, all of these things. So you can't be psychic, you can't be telepathic, you can't manifest things as much if you're not sensitive. So, so being psychic, your senses are heightened. You're that much more sensitive now I'm not talking about you know being sensitive in, in the way that you look at a sunset and you start to cry which that is one aspect of it because in a sense looking at a sunset you realize the miracle of nature and and what you're connected to and if if you really see the beauty in that and that makes you cry like that's that's awesome for you you know because everything is alive everything is a miracle and there is there is a strength in that if you can allow yourself to cry if you feel that because if you're about to cry you're like nah 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 I'm not there's a weakness in that okay there's a weakness in that you can't even allow yourself to feel what you want to feel you're fucking weak all right stop being so weak and allow the flow to flow okay so another example of how being a sensitive person makes you powerful if you look at spider-man spider-man one of his greatest powers other than you know super agility his uh sperm-like web projectiles um, and just, you know, jumping around doing all that other shit was his spidey sense. 
okay? And his spidey sense is actually the one thing that gave him the one up on even some of his nemesis that were, let's say, stronger than him. And if he was to fight one-on-one, -on -one, like, it would have been a wrap, except for his spidey sense. Now, what was his spidey sense? He could sense things from a farther distance. He could sense things that were about to happen or were happening a lot faster, which means he was very, very sensitive. Now, when you get into metaphysics, when you get into your third eye, things of that nature, you're dealing with nerve endings. And these nerve endings need to be refined, okay, in order for you to start tapping into those spiritual powers, which calls for higher sensitivity. So another example is telepathy. The, the meaning of telepathy is that you can receive mental information from somebody else's mind because everything is vibration when you think of something you are creating a vibration through a frequency and those who are very sensitive can pick those up yes there are telepathic people um, I've experienced uh, certain uh, telepathic uh, incidents shout out to be true MC from from Biebs and their money makers all right we've had some some crazy experiences I'm not gonna go into it but it all dealt with our our senses and sensitivity deals with your senses all right so you know in our culture of course like nah I don't feel I don't feel shit I'm cold you know well you're fucking weak all right, you're fucking weak. Stop being so fucking weak. Stop falling under those illusions. Like, nah, nigga, I don't, I don't have feelings. You don't have feelings because you're fucking dead inside. All right, and what the fuck? How strong is a fucking corpse? All right, I'm full of life. Other people are full of life, and these sensitive people. And if you're sensitive, if you're if you're a hypersensitive, all right, you need to stop you know, beating yourself up and you need to take pride in your sensitivity. You need to take pride that you have powers that other people don't even know about. All right. That's why I'm making this video to wake you motherfuckers up. All right. And start developing your senses. It is fucking awesome to be sensitive. When you take acid, when you take mushrooms, when you smoke weed, you become more sensitive to things like light, to things like sound, Okay, to even feeling when you're on ecstasy. Ecstasy is fucking awesome because the serotonin that's rushing through your head is activating your nerve endings so you can feel things in a whole new different way. And I'm here to tell you that that's how we're supposed to feel. Okay, that's how we're supposed to feel like, whoa, you know, it is it is even imperative for you to be sensitive on a sexual tip. All right. Because nothing's worse for a guy who can't, who can't, you know, get it up. And that deals with sensitivity. You've lost your senses. All right? And the same thing goes for a woman who can't have an orgasm. You haven't built up those senses. Your senses are probably closed because of some trauma or some psychological shit that you're going through. So, open yourself up to being sensitive. Develop your senses if you want to be sensitive. I mean, if you want to be spiritual, okay? There is great power in being sensitive. There is great... Uh, there is a great freedom that comes with being sensitive. Your experience expands in a whole new different way. There's people who can experience a mushroom trip without taking mushrooms. There are people that are so sensitive that if you're tripping or if you're rolling or whatever you're feeling, they can feel it too. And that's why some of you out there are in confusion because you're like, damn, you know, I always feel these things. I don't know where they're coming from. A lot of times it's not even you. A lot of times it's the people around you, all right, that you're picking up things and you're allowing it in, 
to go into your aura. And that's why you're feeling things that don't even come from you. So, and that's why auric protection, just research that, that is so important to protect your aura from those things. And that's why I had to get away from my house because I know myself now. I know that other people's vibes affect me. All right. And a lot of people carry toxic vibrations. All right. Negative shit that and even negative thoughts that can seep into your own mind, your own emotions. And now you're experiencing what they're experiencing because you're so sensitive. You took on their vibrations. And instead of reading their vibrations th through feeling it, you are now identifying it with yourself. OK, another thing, too. All right. This whole thing of I have no feelings or, you know, I'm cold blooded. I, I really have to stress this. This is some Illuminati fucking bullshit that it, you know, even if you're from the streets, OK, the motherfuckers that survive shit. All right. The motherfuckers that are the OGs that survive shit. They're the ones who have the heightened senses because they follow their gut. Nah, that didn't feel right. Nah, da 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 da. And to any of those who have a strong gut feelings with shit, that is because your gut is sensitive. And you can scientifically research this. Your gut has nerve endings similar to your, to your brain. So you actually have a second brain here in your gut. Okay? And depending on how sensitive you are, okay, that is what determines your gut. And your gut will always lead you to the right place. Okay, your gut will tell you that person ain't right. That person trying to take advantage of me. Your gut will always tell you, you know what, I need to get out of here. Your gut will always tell you, you know what, this person is dope. I need to, I need to stay with this person. He or she is going to be a good friend of mine or help me out in life. And it only comes from your senses. So, like I said, when you're dealing with metaphysics, when you're dealing with spirituality, be open to your senses. Our senses are blessings. And that's all I got to say, you know. Your third eye, another thing. Your third eye deals with vibrations. So... Anything when you're dealing with vibrations, they get picked up by nerve endings and those nerve endings relay the information to either your mind, your gut, or your heart. So that's all I got to say. Be more sensitive. Feel more. All right. And fuck what other people think. Straight up. All right. Love, blessing, and light to all of you. All right. And I hope you're doing great if you're not doing great i send you some balanced energy so you can help deal with your problems in the highest way possible peace